Good evening, folks. Welcome back to Journey Before Destination. Your host, Gary, here. Uh, looking at the trailer, it's upside down still, as you can see from the last video. And we put our second coat of Raptor coat on here. Raptor coat bed liner is some awesome stuff. It is not Linex, it's not meant to be, never will be, but it is super cool, super strong, very nice coats, covers up all kinds of stuff. You can't hardly see along. You can see, but this was a big patch that was, uh, you know, this way and this way that was uh, where the seam of the board was. And we epoxy fiberglass over top of it with a considerable amount of epoxy fiberglass. Can you see it? Sure, but it's at the bottom, we don't care. But it covers up all kinds of stuff, imperfections, everything else. And it is also exceptionally thick and good and strong stuff. I mean, this stuff dries and it's going to take substantial impact to scratch it. Uh, I'm really, really happy with this second coat that went on here. It is shiny. It feels good. It's only been on for an hour, hour and a half. It's still a little bit, uh, it, it's still a little bit, it's not really tacky, but it is definitely, you can, it's almost like rubbery. Overnight, it turns into hard plastic. I mean, it is seriously hard stuff. It's probably 10 mils thick at this point, because I put really heavy coat on the second time. And, you know, I'm gonna show you something here. You get the rollers from Raptor Coat. There's the Raptor Coat right there. And you get these rollers in this roller pan. Let me open it up and show you. I'll unbox this for a second. And they give you this little dinky ass roller thing. This little dinky roller. Now, if you're gonna do something small, itty bitty, that doesn't require much traction, this is okay. It does kind of suck because this is pinched in so the roller doesn't fit in between it well. But what we did is went shopping, went to Lowe's, and picked this up. This, which I will show you the actual number on it. There's the actual number at Lowe's, and it is a low, simple Lowe's project or project source textured roller. And it is not, it's not the one that has the loops on it. It's not a hook roller. It's just a textured roller. We used a regular roller pan and a regular roller. Last night, I started this and it took two and a half to three hours. And I went through three cans of the Raptor liner and I barely got this covered. It literally took three hours to do it. Tonight, I got that big roller and that big roller pan. We went through two cans of of Raptor liner, line there covered this thing, the crap out of it, and it took us 25 minutes to roll the whole thing. 25 minutes versus three and a half or two and a half to three hours. Big big difference. And I'll be honest with you, this texture, albeit it's not quite as prickly, it doesn't. It, it's when you run your hand, it doesn't hurt. When you run your hand across it with the, with the other rollers that came with it, those rollers over there, it actually kind of hurts. It's rough to the touch. This is not. This is get very textured. You can see the texture in it. Give me a close-up of it. I mean, you can look at the side of my finger. It's definite texture. But this, when you run your hand across it, doesn't hurt. It doesn't scratch. The other texture actually scratched. It felt like really, really, really coarse, like 20-grit sandpaper. This does not. It filled in all the gaps. See the gaps are all filled in here. Everything is filled in very well. I am more than impressed with this Raptor liner. This stuff is unbelievably good. I read all kinds of stuff about it online. I saw people put it on their trucks, on their cars. I thought it was cool, I thought it was nice, but I never thought just how nice it really is. It is so nice that I have the tintable Raptor liner right there. And I'm going to tint it to match my Jeep, and I'm going to do the center section of this about like that, all the way along, the same color as my Jeep, and the same thing across the front here and down both sides. And then I'm going to do the top, uh, you know, a one inch line all the way down here in black, and I'm going to do the top black again. Just because black is the easiest color to get, I don't have to tint it anything like that. 
as long as it turns out as good as this, I have four cans of that plus some extra tint. It's only going to take two cans to do this. Therefore, I may very well take my Jeep, take everything off of it, and I may very well take that Raptor liner if it matches good enough with this, and I may very well just Raptor line everything up to about here on the Jeep, right along the bottom of this, including over the edge of it. Raptor line the doors up to the doorknobs underneath, Raptor line it across here, right up to the hood, Raptor line everything below this. All this get Raptor lined, all this, the fenders underneath, all the way along, and then I'm gonna take black Raptor liner, and I'm gonna Raptor line my, uh, my rock slide steps. I'm gonna Raptor line those. Uh, I thought about line Xing him, but line Xing him is it's probably better because he's taking a lot of abuse. But we'll try the line or the Raptor liner first and see how well it does. And then I'm gonna take my roof rack off and I'm gonna Raptor line this whole thing. And probably the the uh, tire rack. I'll probably Raptor line all of this because this is this is your typical stereotypical powder coat which doesn't last for crap things are rusting on it all over the place it's dark you can't really see it but there's rust everywhere on this then i am going to take my bumper off and i'm going to take it and have it line x i'm going to spend the money on line x for that because the difference between raptor coat and line x is almost 90 mils of thickness and toughness uh, and this is line x and there is nothing like Linex. This is just absolutely like a rock. It's been on my bumper now for almost a year, and my bumper looks like the day it came out, and it's bashed into stuff, it's smacked into rocks, and there's no damage to it whatsoever. So Linex goes on the rear bumper. Frankly, it should go on the bottom of the, of the step sliders, but I really don't want to spend that much money on those, and I can Raptor line them, and then if they get scratched, I can just put Raptor coat over it. But I'm thinking everything from this down is going to get Raptor lined, the blue to match this, and then everything from there up will still be painted. And I'm also going to take the top, I'm going to pull it off, and I'm going to Raptor line the inside and out of the top, black, like it is now. I don't want it to be blue. Uh, I'd rather have it black, so I'm going to take the top off, and I'm going to Raptor line the whole top. That stuff is just, it's crazy tough, it's very nice sheen, it's very simple to clean, and I just can't believe how good it looks out here. And this is rolled on with a flipping roller. This isn't sprayed, this is rolled on with a, with a paint roller from the house. And you can't tell, it just is absolutely fantastic. So anyway... I figured I'd put this out there for right now and just let you guys know how well it's going, how impressed I am with this product, and I will suggest to anybody who is looking for something tough to put on something, this is now 100% waterproof up to that line right there, and I mean 100% waterproof with the exception of that hole obviously and where the doors are, but there is nothing getting through this between the fact that I fiberglassed all of this that I epoxy fiberglassed it, put an extra coat of epoxy on all of it, and then on top of that, I put the uh, Raptor liner, two coats of that. That is impervious to water at this point. Uh, every inch of all of this, all of this in here, that is all covered with Raptor liner and butyl tape. This is all done up here with, uh, with the automotive quality hardening rubberized caulk. All the way along here, you can kind of see the caulk line there. Uh, this thing is straight up impervious to water in the bottom now. I am not ever worried about water getting to the inside of this thing from down there. <laughs> I am going to go and do the, I'm actually going to, next to where I have the black next time, I'm going to wrap the line this all the way along there too, just so that there's no way for the water to seep in past the seal and get into this wood. I don't want this wood ever to get any kind of water on it. Uh, even dripping down from shoes or something like that, this wood is going to be sealed completely in. These screws will have, I'll have butyl tape over all this. This thing is going to be sealed up like you can't believe. But anyway, I'm ranting and raving about all this. Uh, in the meantime, I'm waiting for, just in case you're wondering, I'm waiting for a call back or an email back from Ampere Time about their batteries. Hopefully, in the next week or two, I will have that 
interstate replaced with a 300 amp hour ampere time lithium ion phosphate battery to go in here with some uh, deal because I want to start selling those batteries and I also want to put them in my in my uh, travel trailers and we'll see what they do. So hopefully Amper Time, if you're listening and you're looking at our page, you call me back and you'll see what I'm building here and you'll understand that this is going to be a commercial project. See the building we have that is pretty much empty right now. Uh, we're going to convert a very large portion of this over into solar and uh, into uh, both solar uh, conversions of campers and selling solar equipment for home, for cabins, and we're hopefully going to be building these campers that are separate from the trailer so you can set this camper on that trailer and have that as a utility trailer for use at home and slide in your overland camper when you want to go camping. So anyway, enough of the talking. Please like, subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up. It always helps. Uh, trying to build this channel up and we'll go from there. Have a wonderful evening.